Hi, this is Don. One of my uh, students and your classmates posted some questions that he had um, in his uh, preparation for the coming midterm. Um, and it, it, they are questions uh, that I've gotten from a lot of students over the years. And one reason I steer people to StatCrunch is that it makes quick work of uh, doing these kinds of problems. Although you can use the tables and it's probably, you know, to go through using the tables when you use the text. Today it's important that you understand how to use technology and you can solve these problems with Excel, uh, with Minitab, with uh, your, your TI calculator. Um, but I'm encouraging you to use StatCrunch because one, it's free. It comes with your subscription to my Stat Lab. And you can use it outside of my Stat Lab. You can always go to uh, StatCrunch.com, open up the app, and um, use it in a separate window for whatever you're doing. On this first problem, it, it's a, um, a word problem, and it, it gives us that we had a sample of 800 gas stations. We've got the mean price for regular gas at 2.832 per gallon, $2.93. 3.2 and the standard deviation was 0 0.008 and then the question is that we take a random sample of 60 from this population and those are key words uh, the data we're given the mean and the standard deviation are the population mean and the population standard deviation Sigma if we want to use the uh, normal curve to solve this problem, we've got to remember that we're we're solving a problem about the sampling distribution, not the population distribution. And so we've got to adjust these population parameters, the, the mean and the standard deviation sigma, and put those into statistics associated with the sample. And remember the mean of a sampling distribution that's uh, normally distributed. In this case, since we've got 800, that's far more than 30, so we can assume that this is a normal dis distributed curve. And um, so the mean of the sampling distribution from a normally distributed population is just equal to the mean of the population. Now you can solve for sigma sub x bar using your TI calculator or Excel if you're using that. I'm just going to show you how to do it using StatCrunch for everything. I, I took just a few moments to put in my mean of the population $2.83, the sigma of the population 0 .008, and the sample size n of 60. To calculate sigma sub h bar, I'm going to go to data, compute, expression, brings up the expression builder and I like just to click on bill to um, let it help me work through this and all I've got to do is divide my sigma and because I took the time to put my data in columns it offers up those uh, column names so it's double click on sigma and then I'm going to divide that by the square root of the sample size and SQRT I just I remember what that function is. If you don't remember the function, you can scan down this column and find the function uh, all the way down there. And there it is, SQRT. And you can just double, uh, you can highlight that and add function, and it will uh, add you through that. But uh, I've put it in there, SQRT, open parentheses, double click on my end to select that, close parentheses, and now I'm going to say OK. And I get back to this intermediate dialog. And let's label our new column S I G M A S U sub X bar. And click on Compute. So I've got a value there um, of my sampling distribution standard deviation of 0 0.0010. So now we can solve our problem. We'll go to Stat, Calculators, and Normal. We've got our standard normal curve. And 
we've got our standard normal curve that comes up with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Now if we want to uh, calculate the um, probability for a, a price less than $2.89, we've got to put our sampling distribution information in there. And um, the sampling distribution mean is just equal to the population mean of 2.832. We saw for the sampling distribution standard deviation 0 0.0010. And I want to know the probability of getting a price less than $2.82.9. And I click on compute. And we get our standard normal. I'm sorry, our normal distribution curve of the sampling distribution. There's our mean of 2.83, and our price is 2.89, which is way down here. Now, normally when you use the uh, calculator in StatCrunch, you will have a nice sketch that will show your area to the left hand. Uh, you can't see this very well, but right there is a little bitty um, red area, and our Pop, or probability is everything to the left of that, which is 0 0.0013. Very, very small probability that you would get a price as low as $2.82.9 uh, in this sampling distribution. So that is the answer, 0 0.0013. That is the probability of getting that price less than $2.82.9. Okay. Um, the second question that this person had was that uh, you suggested to use the standard normal table to come up with the z-score uh, that has a cumulative area to the left of 0 0.0152. Now, that's a very small probability, but we can use our normal calculator again in StatCrunch to solve this. Since we're talking about z-scores, it's our standard normal curve with mean of zero and standard deviation of one. I'll put those back in. And the probability to the left is 0 0.0152. Got my less than or equal, everything pointing to the left, which is the that side of the curve. I click on our com compute and I, we now we get a sketch that we can see. There's our red area. Everything to the left of that is 0 0.0152, uh, that's the probability, the cumulative probability shown by that red area. And it gives us a z-score of negative 2.16. That's because it's on the left side of the curve, which is in the negative area uh, for z-scores, minus 2.165, rounding that off. So I hope this helps.